my name is Odette. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Odette. Today I'm going to be making chin chin. Chin chin is a delicious cookie we enjoy in Africa, especially Cameroon. Let's go over our ingredients. I have four cups of unbleached all purpose flour. Have a cup of sugar, it's cane sugar, that's why it's that color. A tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, my nut milk, four tablespoons of butter, that's unsalted butter, four eggs. A cup of milk. Now I'm going to sit. I know I talk about unbleached fly a lot. It's because it gives your dough a better texture and taste. It is always good to sift your flour. This is just to let air pass through. You can use nut milk if you like, but guess what? Or oh, orange zest. Nut milk gives your chin chin a better flavor. You want to see? And you can even see some particles you don't like that on your dough. So I'll go ahead and just be adding everything. I have my baking powder goes in, goes in my salt, my sugar. Some people like to add sugar with their milk and warm, but my milk is in room temperature and my egg, so everything is good to go. The non milk gives your chin chin that nice flavor. It's very authentic and it's earthly too. You can use lemon zest if you like, but guess what? Nutmeg is the best. I'm just going to grate. I have a half and a, a one and a half. And just grate. I do have the great nutmeg already, but get, that one is not as good as this one. This one have better flavor. So I always like to get the nutmeg whole. Hmm, you smell. I can smell it already. Not may have that strong smell in a good way. So I'll go ahead and add my butter. If you are out of butter, you can use vegetable oil. That will work. There's this nostalgia I have every time I talk about chinching or make chinching because that's when we always have our I'll go ahead and use my hand to work with it. I have to mix everything until it's well incorporated. Our chin chin dough is nice and soft. This is how you want it to be. You don't want it to be too strong. I don't like that chin chin dough that is hard like a rock. You want your chin chin to be nice but not too soft that it's going to soak your oil. We say that will be too rich. So you just want it perfect. I'm just going to partition, roll, knit, and fry. Um, I do have the pasta machine that I use for my chinching, but that I pack it up, so I'll just work with my roller today. You want to knit your chinching dough to be like this, not too thick. You don't want it too thick. I don't like it. So I'm just going to partition. I remember we used to have some styles that we do during Christmas, but we don't have time for that. So that's just how I'm going to cut. Let me just try some of the style we used to do. We used to wrap like that. Have it. But as you can see, it's time consuming. We used to do this because we were three girls in the house, so we could afford doing that. But today, I'm just going to cut and fry. Just heat my oil. Oh yeah, that's good. You don't want your oil to be too hot. Maybe you heat it. I did some twisting, just like we used to do in our house during Christmas. The milk I used in this chin chin was 2% milk, but you can use whole milk or the powder milk. In Cameroon, most of the time, we use the pig milk, which is the liquid milk. Today, we are going to be eating the chin chin with some popcorn to have that feeling that we used to have during Christmas. So, this is a whole throwback thing for me today. The chin chin is very nice, it's soft, it's not too soft in a way that it will drain the oil. It's just right, I don't like chin chin that is too hard. Because when it cools down, it's going to be very strong like a rock. 
thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe put a comment and a thumbs up if you like this video bye